Yep, we're on. We're on. Just waiting for everyone to finish up, to ready up. There we go. We're live at the moment. So, uh, just to let everybody know what's going on. Um, yep, we're broadcasting uh, the selection. Uh, this is the process in which we actually uh, go through the process of having a look at the individual drivers and then uh, obviously discussing some of the contracts that are going to be out there for some of the uh, from some of the teams. Uh, the teams are going to be having a look and seeing uh, which drivers they want to possibly put with them for the season. Season three it is. And uh, in the commentary box, it's myself, uh, Savvy, and it's obviously the J-Man, Jay Fernandes, 84. Jay. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good, man. Uh, we're going to be uh, having some fun this evening, hopefully. Uh, see, we've got yeah, quite we a nice lineup, at, uh, eh? Singapore for, uh, what is it, 50% uh, race? 50%? Yeah, it's a smallish lineup, but a strong lineup. A lot of fast drivers. Yeah, I think, uh, oops, no, what have I just done? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I think uh, you're right. We have uh, uh, 13 online at the moment. I think that's pretty good turnout. We have had some guys tell us they're not available for this evening. So, uh, however, we know uh, their stature and we know what they like. So we're going to be uh, looking forward to seeing them at the start of the season, which is happening on the 30th of September. And uh, the J-Man is going to be joining me. And I think we've just had an additional driver join us, so that's also great for us. No, we don't. Sorry. 13 is the number at the moment. Um, and I've just seen... You just need to I've, to, yeah, I've, been, I've been pushed out there again. So, uh, there go. yeah... Uh, yeah, so uh, a lot of the guys are actually away. Uh, it's a long weekend in South Africa, and I think uh, that's what's actually happened. Uh, nevertheless, to say, it's great to see such a great turnout for uh, this evening. And uh, we're going to be looking forward to having some fun, watching some thrills and spills with these individuals. And uh, I don't know, Jay, what's your feeling about uh, today's race? I don't know what it's going to be, if it's going to be um, warm, wet, I mean, it is Singapore. Can be a can be a tricky one to be a uh, to be a practice round. It's a uh, it's a rather difficult circuit. Got to get your setup right, and uh, you know, even if you are on the right setup, if the weather takes a wrong turn, you're not on the right setup anymore. It's a it's a track that's very different in the wet, and El um, yeah, El we'll we'll know closer to the time we. Don't know about the weather yet, but we know it can play huge, a huge part of this truck. Yeah, let's have a look. I mean, it is. Uh, I don't think there's much areas for overtaking uh, per se, so I think that's going to be very difficult. I think uh, what you've mentioned is absolutely right. There's got to be uh, the right setup, and that right setup can change. You know, it just uh, depends on the uh, weather conditions, and as we know, it's quite unpredictable in uh, Singapore. Um, and uh, I think here we go. We're going to be starting the free practice. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to have a look at the guys, uh, see how quick they are, and see the setups. Another one we have to uh, another one we have to mention is turn one here at Singapore. It's uh, it's one that's a lot of tears have uh, ended prematurely in tears at turn one. <laughs> Yeah, I think even so, in the in even in the real life one, it's ended in tears. Thank goodness this this time round, which was last weekend, it wasn't that bad, was it? No, obviously, thirty minutes of free practice allows the guys to try out different fuel loads, try out all the different compounds of tires that are available to them. And obviously, 
box or maze off for the practice session so you can still fiddle around with the setup. Yeah, I see they're just all lining in, so lining up, uh, getting themselves ready. Uh, we're in the pit lanes. Uh, any particular choice, uh, Jay, this evening? Anybody we should be watching, looking at, scrutinizing? I think we should keep our eyes there on uh, TND Wazzy. As far as I understand, he will be on a controller tonight, so um, he should be quick. Okay, well, let's he's had have a few a races that he's uh, that he's battled with, but he's he's been trying to get used to a wheel, so uh, he's deciding to go for stability today and went back for the controller. So I think he's going to have some speed. I mean, obviously, we we, we don't uh, we we don't worry about if the guy's using a controller or not. I mean, if he's got the skill to use it, especially uh, under these conditions, he can use it. I, we have no issue with that. Whichever one works best for you. I mean, I've got both too. Absolutely. I see and we them. all know how that worked out. <laughs> My wheel's brand new. <laughs> so there we go. I uh, see here comes uh, the Goose Man. He's out. He's coming on the outer lap, uh, driving in a Reynold this evening. As we said, uh, pre-season practice, so they get to choose exactly what they like and... Uh, Obviously, if they're a fan of a particular Formula One team, they get to drive it. But that's not the case for next week. Next week, uh, we determine uh, from the director which contracts go to who and who will be driving for who. There's the judge man. And I see he's in his familiar horse. He likes the horse, this man, uh, the judge. And uh, it looks as though we've got uh, Devon. Devon's out in the Reynolds. He also, this is not the first time he's riding in that Reynolds. So he also seems to pick out uh, the Reynolds uh, for the practice sessions and the pre-racing that we've done so far. Uh, anything on the, the conditions of the track? Anything different there, Jay? Or is it all looking good? I haven't seen anything from my side. I can try and uh, try and get some information from one of the drivers. I think that would be good just to have a a quick understanding if there is something that we should know about from a weather perspective. Um, see, I'll text one of them, and uh, he's out on track at the moment. But when he gets back, he'll probably let us know. Oh, well, there was a bit of a nudge there from. Uh, Ivan, oh, and a bit of braking going on. I mean, this track is really difficult. I think you've got to sort of put it down to how and where and a, a lot of uh, emergency braking from, uh, it looks like Ivan, uh, straight him, Ivan. He's, uh, oh, he's even going into the pit lane. I think he's had a bit of a bash there. So I think he's going to have a look at his setup. Here's a new driver driving for Red Bull. Obviously, uh, his uh, uh, name is Thomas, and uh, Thomas is uh, joining us for the first time. So we welcome Thomas to the group, and uh, he is uh, uh, also a first-time off uh, sis off driver. So we're going to see and be watching him a little while. I think Wazzy is uh, not here with us. And this. as you, as you oh. say, that he's, he's had an off. <laughs> he has had an off. He's uh, gone off. completely as off. You were, as you were saying, we were going to keep an eye on him. I, I watched him go into the wall. <laughs> so, um, but look, like, it's just a practice session. It's, so, um, he does have an opportunity. We'll be there for qualifying. Absolutely. And uh, there's old staff. He's, uh, I know he's been putting in some time as well, practicing. He's in the Ferrari this evening. Uh, so we can uh, maybe see how he's doing. He's been. Uh, completely uh, unhappy with uh, his setup at uh, on his rig uh, he was having some gear problems at one time but i believe he solved that now so uh, we can keep there and then uh, this gentleman who we know from 2017 i mean he's uh, really uh, come in uh, to the uh, non-assist uh, league 
Uh, and you can see a little bit uh, losing it there, Jay. Uh, but Bala's got the game, I think, this week. So he's all ready to go, all excited. Number 66 is his number. McLaren currently in third on a 148.1. Not too shabby for the uh, first time, eh? The quickest lap at the moment is that 143. Um, Everyone's done their laps on soft so far. But I'm sure we'll see some experimentation towards the end of the session when guys do little qualifying runs and... I wouldn't read too much into these times just yet. And uh, I see Gav Pig has changed his helmet to a pink. It looks almost pink. Oh, you nearly lost it there. Let's have a look. Oh, it's um, it's most definitely pink. <laughs> I wonder if he has pink drinks. I mean, it's it's so pink it oh. counts as a glitch. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I thought he had lost it there. It was uh, quite close. Klaus Since the Ferraris are first and second at the moment. So yeah, they want to keep I think it that way. I, 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 I don't know what's going on there. Maybe he's going to come out. I don't know. I see the uh, the Pritt crews come out, obviously, having a look. Can we get a five grid place penalty for one of the new drivers, Devin? Oh, my goodness. What was the infringement there? What did the director say? He was speeding. Speeding in the pits. Mm. Okay. It's quite, uh, it's quite harsh to get a five-place grid penalty for speeding in the pits. Look who's in the Toro Rossa. No, DW is one of them. Yeah, Here I'm... Uh, 142 one. 142-1. That was on one. a set of ultras. Very, very good. Was was on a set of ultras plus uh, we also don't know how much fuel these guys are running i mean they could have uh they could have a lot more time they could be running around on a heavy with a heavy car yeah i think normally uh Devet likes to uh have a bit of a drive around so he's i think he sets the fuel to about 10 laps when he's doing uh obviously this top practice free practice just so you can get a feel for the car and you can hear him going nice view of the car there so due to at the moment uh it's quite a gap between first and second at one point three seconds but that is the fastest tire oh there we go there's a move up old uh, Ivan's coming he's uh, definitely uh, pushing it and he's sort of stepped into yeah he stepped zero. into third stepped into third there and he's coming up on the McLaren he's got to watch himself nicely done and uh, we got a 141 from uh, Devitt. So certainly not holding back in the free practice at the moment. Showing the guys uh, what, what he's capable of. And I think he's going to be one to watch uh, this evening. I see uh, Wayne still in the pits there. So I'm quite interested to see what he's going to be doing. Uh, especially on the controller, still as you mentioned. Still haven't seen laps. Still haven't seen laps from... Uh from Goose or Springbok Gamer. There's still a few guys that need to get on the board. And of course, was he? Yeah, was he? Uh, as I mentioned now, he's sort of uh, secured in the pits. I think he's uh, probably just having a, a good massage from his crew and obviously strategizing on what he wants to do, but we'll see what's happening there. So, um, as you mentioned, uh, let's have a look. Let's sort of whiz back down. And uh, there we go. I think he's getting invalidated. Obviously, we've got strict uh, cornering on here. So if you are trying to cut corners, 
uh, you're not going to be able to do that, uh, especially if you want to get a time here. So, and I mean, there's dedication here. You have to dedicate the time and the effort to uh, push through. He's in number four car. That's uh, old Gooseman himself. And then, as you said, Springbok Gamer sitting back uh, in the pits. I think he's probably had a lot of practice this afternoon, so he's decided to uh, just wait it out. Was that David to just push another time? Springbok Gamer is on an Oh, here it is, yeah. Let's go back to uh, Springbok Game and see what he's doing. Going to have a good overview. Uh, he's trying, obviously, to squeeze every single second out of every second, uh, out of every second, uh, looking for the, the the most optimum place to put that uh, vehicle in. Pretty nice there. A little bit of lock up there. I think this is about to set his. Yeah, Goose just did Goose that. Over One, the line. Yeah, 148. 148. Yeah. 148.6. Here we go. There's... uh ahead of his teammate. Okay. That's good news. I see Springbok still has a set of time, man. Eh? Out of that. So, you know, so, this is the start of his fast lap. He got stuck behind that. Um, so not, not, but this will be his Oh, a little bit wide. Also, very fancy. That's other cause. Yeah, I think we're, uh, there's another quick time. It's more 141 and 4 now. So just take a little bit, a little bit, but no. And well, he's two points faster than anyone. Yeah, so uh, we seem to have a, a bit of a little bit of a technical problem i know that jay probably can't hear but his mic is going in and out at the moment so uh hopefully we can fix that guys um we'll take it and we'll see what we can do uh but we are on springbok game we're just having a look and see if he can actually complete a lap at this point in time because he's certainly not uh able to do he's gone a while again yes he's put up a time well done he has managed to put up a time, which has put him into fifth place. And, oh, big lock up there. I don't know uh, if the individual was looking back to see what was going on there. But, wow, that was pretty close uh, on that particular time. Hopefully, Jay has been able to fix his mic. Uh, Jay, are you there? How does it sound? Yeah, it's uh, coming through a little bit... Uh, off and on, but let's see if we can go ahead and try and uh, see if we can clear that up, man. Um, oh, somebody into the wall, it looks like it. Are you there, Jay? I'm still here. Ah, cool. There we go. Much, much better. Seems to be much better. Here we go, so at the moment, DW now coming into the, you, you enter around, on that, that set of ultrasound, and ultimately came out with a time of 144. It'll be pretty, maybe now try something different, put on the harder tire. Ah, there we go. Look, old Wes is uh, joining us. He's just uh, sent us a little message that says, uh, Good evening, gents. Yeah, we're missing you. We hope we wished you would be here, <laughs> was he? Uh, but obviously you're not. You're obviously doing something that's more important called work. Uh, however, we are glad to bring this while you're sitting back uh, and uh, working. And hopefully you'll enjoy the race with us, if you can. And uh, 
just as feather is concerned, I can confirm it's dry all the way. Fantastic. That sounds good for everything. And normally it's a night race. So it is going to be... Oh, oh, he's just taken off the front of the cone. I think he's just done himself in there, Springbuck. He's going to have to go back and uh, put himself <laughs> into the pits. And then obviously... Uh, just take care of that. Uh, if that was delayed, yes, it probably was. But I was just answering uh, somebody on our um, on our live stream. Lost this entire end plate there. So staff's in. He's was he uh, has gone fastest. C and D was. He passed the 40 <laughs> point. Oh wow! So yeah. 140.6, 140.6. And we're on with him right now. And I mean, you did mention right at the very beginning that this is somebody who we should be watching uh, this evening, and definitely uh, a, <laughs> a, an impressive move there. As we're on board with him right now, having a look at uh, what's going on. Oh. There is uh, Springbuck Gamer's car. He's had to retire from the race. Uh, flat into the wall there. Watching was he go around, see if he's going to get something faster. my screen or did was he do that type of softs um i've i he's, he's he's actually got yellows on mate he's got yellows on yeah he's got the run i mean I, I, I it's it's incredible that's a fantastic time with the and he's he's gone faster it's a 140.5 now <laughs> so incredible just taken another tenth off on what appears to be a set of soft. I'm, I, is, I'm almost so sure, Jay. They're, those available. are soft. They're soft. They're definitely so, soft. So, uh, oh, wow. So, at the moment, tenths faster than anybody, and he's not using the fastest available tire. Or the second best available tire. He got back out on circuit in the Toro Rosso, looking to improve on that time. Don't know if the guys are worried about time. Not be worried about that second place at all. He could be trying different things at the minute. Point. Well, Pete, Pete Bullis is out there. He's on a... to read into the times. I mean, I can see Pete Bullis on an <laughs> outer laps. Let's see if he uh, pushes that back. But I mean, we, we're staying with uh, Wasi, yeah? Just to have a look at how he's uh, handling this. Oh, nicely done. Incredible stuff. Lovely. I think just a little bit of a tire rub against the wall there, but that's no issue. lap times will probably come down um, and out look at that a 139.7 so 
Now we go back with YV. She heads into the final corner and be looking to ah, 140. Look at that, it's a 139.5. He's turned out of his previous best. It's taken one second out of his previous best. And nothing in it. 139.5, 139.7. So yeah, I mean, uh, Singapore track, uh, it's, it's considered as a city track, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Jay. That's correct. Uh, I, I think only part of the final sector is actually Grand Prix built for that purpose. Um, the rest is open road. It's... Uh, the, the last few corners of Sector 3 are actually Grand Prix circuit, and the rest is public roads. Yeah, I mean, they go down Republic uh, Boulevard, then on to Raffles Boulevard, then into what they call uh, Nikolai's uh, Highway, and then into Stramford Road, then into St. Andrew's Road, then across uh, what they call the Anderson Bridge, and then uh, sort of run about corner 13 they go uh, closer and closer in uh, Espalanda drive then right through then through start finish so they got Raffles Boulevard as well and Republic Boulevard which is so turn one is basically turn one turn two turn three turn four and then you're into Republic Boulevard and then by turn five, you're into Raffles uh, Boulevard. So that's basically lovely racing there um, from Wazzy. Nice stuff. I mean, that, are my eyes deceiving me or is that a 139? It's a 139. A one, it's a 135. Two tenths quicker than DW with a 139.7. And he's done it on a set of softs. And I mean, uh, as far as I know, these are two good mates. They're two uh, guys. Very that, good. Yeah, they're good mates. They've uh, been racing together for a long time. I think they've they've been uh, mates for life. These two, and I think that rivalry and competition is always up. So I'm sure that uh, Devet is going to say, "Listen, was he a nice run? But I'm going to try and beat that time of yours, like now." And guess what he's just done? 139.2. <laughs> he's... 139.2. Uh, <laughs> the lap time coming down, taking three tenths out of Wazzy's time. Three tenths of a second off there, done and dusted. So as I said, here we go into Raffles. This is Raffles Bo uh, Boulevard. And then he... Immediately Wazzy comes out of the pits. Immediately <laughs> Wazzy comes out of the pits. <laughs> All right, now we're into what we call uh, Nikolai uh, Nikolo, uh, Highway. Then it's basically into Stamford Road. And this is going to lead now where he's going now, St. Andrew's Road. And as we come, we're going to sort of do a 90 degree. And that 90 degree is leaving us into Anderson Bridge. And then it's going to still Anderson Bridge right now. And then we're into Esplanda Drive. Esplanda Drive. And then right here we're going down into, still in Esplanda Drive. This takes you all the way through. And you can still see this is part of the street circus. Some lovely buildings. There's almost like the big eye in front of you there. Then it goes underneath the section. Oh, he's just lost it slightly. And this is going to be uh, sort of going towards. So this is basically turn number 19 into turn 20 here. Then into turn 21. 
And then turn 22. And in turn 22, 23 is coming up now. And then basically you would go through start and finish. But I think he's just putting, I think, uh, some damage on the car there. By the way, the, the ghosting is off, which means that even parts of the car that fall off can affect the guy behind him. So that's, I mean, it's, it's basically real stuff here. This is not... Uh, uh, over debris can have an effect on your race and your tire wear. So, absolutely. Um, just adds, a, adds a, another element to the game and something else to worry about. So looking at the driver's list, uh, it looks as though some of the guys are actually in a lot of pain there. Ivan's out. Uh, Springbok Gamer's out. The Judge is out. Gooseman's out. Devon's out. And the debutante. There we go. Did not set a lap time in the red. There we go. I get to call him debutante because I can't <laughs> pronounce that. It's actually Thomas. If you read that, if you and read as, that as backwards, as far as the rest of the season goes, he'll just be a rookie. <laughs> there we go. If he's if he's going to last after tonight, and I hope he does. I mean, he's. Uh, He's uh, somebody that's interested in driving with Gnosis, so we, we definitely won't punish him too much uh, from the don't commentary know if box. I uh, don't know if you've followed the Formula 3 at all, but uh, quite, quite the performance by Mick Schumacher today. He's in the lead of that championship now by quite some margin. And uh, on the very same day, his cousin won the Formula 4 Rookie Championship. There you go. So... Uh, I think we're still going to see some Schumachers in F1 coming through sooner rather than later. Coming through. It's uh, two cousins. It's the son of Michael and the son of Ralph. And Schumacher has now won five of the last eight races. There we go. We're still now we're on board with staff. Uh, and, uh, I mean, the time there, respectable for sort of the conditions we're in now for him. Um, I know he, as I mentioned right at the beginning of the broadcast, he was having some problems with the gearing, which he seems to have solved. So I'm, I'm hoping that's all uh, sorted. And uh, obviously, I mean, when you're changing from um, assist to gnosis, one of the things that you have to learn is the gear ratios and where to gear and where not to gear down and where to go flat out so i think these are some of the things that uh, staff is is getting through at this point in time but i take my hat off to him he's doing it and uh, you know it's not an easy transition but he seems to be doing not too badly at it gav seems to be coming up in times there uh, jay it's just got a 139.8 so he's joined that uh, that 139 club, just the three drivers in the 139s. And guess who's behind him? It's going to slow him up a little bit. Oh, oh, he's just gone. Had some damage there. Debris on the track. And... No, he hasn't been able to do it, was he? I think Wazzy was trying to make... Wazzy goes fastest. <laughs> he just did as well. One oh, my goodness. 38 fastest, and there was, there was contact in that lap. That could have been a lot faster. My goodness. 96. 96 to watch There's out even for. more time there. And uh, he's basically got, oh, we got under 40 seconds to go, 39 seconds. So I don't think he's going to finish this uh, particular lap, but wow, that was really good. He, uh, there we go, he's retired out into the uh, kit, so he's going to pull over. Uh, and I think they're going to sort of have themselves a little bit of a rest before the next session.
Jay, you and I are going to have something to probably just warm the throat up, or we'll sort of just take a little uh, pause while we watch these guys sort of finish down, I think. Or you can... Oh, a bit of, bit of lag there on that. Are you seeing some uh, some frame rate uh, yeah, issues? Yeah, did, did, you, did you see that? It's going really slowly. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah, I think uh, let's put it across and... Um, yeah, I think it's great. Great to see that. Uh, not so great to see the frame rate, though, going like that. That was a bit scary. Uh, do you want to? Do you want to take us through the incidents? Sorry. I've got it up and about. Up oh, uh, there we go. Sorry about that. No, nah, no, man. All good, man. All good. Well, well, five guys made the end of the session from the <laughs> 11. From the 11, five guys. Here we are, nighttime upon us. This is the quali section. So uh, let's have a look and see what they're up to. I mean, obviously, they want to do it in the type of environment uh, they're going to be doing it. So quali... Obviously, it's just, yep, just, carry a, just a short quali, but... Uh, Noted for that, uh, this edition of the game, the short quality is just a little bit longer, so it does allow, I'd say, do at least th three runs. I noticed that, you, I noticed if that. If you time things properly. Yeah. I, I think it's long, I don't remember it being 18 minutes. No, I didn't, I don't as well, so uh, yeah, no, it was... Uh was one of those things, man. I mean, uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, Wesley is asking about... Uh, great to be watching from work. Yeah, thank you very much. May I ask uh, if you could show the tire compounds? Yeah, sure, we can do that. I mean, uh, since Ati is in place, yeah, is he on softs? And Yvette is on? Yeah, we'll tell you. He was on the hyper softs. And now you can see the pinkies are out. So all of the guys have got pinkies uh, on the qualies now. So let's have a look. Let's see how it goes. Except two, two drivers. Noted that Staffy and Wazzy are ultra soft, while everyone else is out on hypersoft. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, put some geometries on as well as giving some details on the tires i don't know if you can see that uh from where you are uh, it should be coming on your screens uh in a couple of seconds if you are watching um from uh, the youtube channel so we can see what's fitted uh let's go to the track have a look no luck thumbs just yet. We've got eight cars out on circuit on the right lap. Yep, I think uh, let's push this across to see. So we'll, we'll see some action in that in that timetable shortly. Got two Ferraris on the day, two Renaults, two Haas. Oh, bit of a touch. Might not get it back. So here we go, on the outer laps, and uh, let's go a little bit back, we were on board with Devet. Devet is uh, coming through, it seems though a little bit slower than he's normally used to, but I think it's because of the traffic that's ahead of him. I don't think he's pushing it at all at the moment. Looks like he's just trying to to make some space. Um, one of the problems with the short qualifying session is that, okay, today we only have 11 drivers, but on the occasion when you have a full grid and 20 drivers trying to do their lap times within 18 minutes, you're going to encounter traffic. So you just, you need to make the best of it. 
Make sure you give yourself through. No lap times just yet. Waiting for the first ones to appear. We have yellow in sector three. Just an off there. For Thomas, I believe it is. Just having a bit of a hard time in the Renault. Sorry, the Red Bull. But uh, apparently also new to the no assists side of things. So just trying to get used to it, trying to come to terms with it. It's doing better than me already. And there's oh, your goose. first lap time. <laughs> it's the first the lap. It's a 143.7. 143.7 from Goosey. Yeah. Timed lap of the day. It's going to be provisional pole for now. <laughs> yeah. Turns out that was a spin or a celebration. Judge <laughs> goes over the line with a one, one photo. Ooh, that's that's quick. I think he'll be happy with that. Yeah, that is actually quite quick, and he's in the horse. That is because the horse he tells quick. me goes fast. Yeah, I think, uh, as you mentioned, traffic is uh, obviously an issue. And um, Springbok Games Springbok just put a 139. 139.1. Goes quickest by nine tenths of a second. Oh, and no, look at that. Look at that. And what do you call that? that that's a 137.8. And our Wes has predicted a pole. Is, where is the where is the other one? <laughs> old Wes, uh, old uh, Wes is online. Says this, and he's predicting a one thirty six pole from uh, Wazzy. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, one thirty six what? One. Th he's got one thirty six. Yeah, he says one thirty six is going to be pole. And I mean, we're already down to 137.816 from uh, DW. So, um, DeWitt's uh, obviously in pole position. We're waiting for Wazzy on. We're actually on board with him at the moment. We'll see what Wazzy does. Also, just following him around the circuit. He's going around what appears to be Sector 3. Set his first. Oh, time. he's pulling in. He's and pulling he's, in. He's, he's coming into the pits. He's coming into the pits at not the happening. moment. It's not happening. I mean, he's got fifth place at the moment. I don't know. Maybe he wants to be in fifth. But knowing him, man, he's competitive. He's, he's quite maybe competitive. Maybe something there. not feeling quite right. I think so. Uh, he's coming in to sort that out rather than going on and wasting tires. For the time being, so uh, BMW on provisional pole with the one thirty set. Yeah, I mean, uh, Wesley's uh, sort of saying, listen, maybe uh, one thirty six point seven ish. He says thirty six point seven ish. Sounds very. So, yeah, if it did, if it did go. In, if it went into the 136s, I'd say it would have to be the very high 136s. Yeah, I mean, uh, we've got basically nine minutes left. Uh, it was ten minutes, so let's have a look and see. Um, I think we've got some... Uh, okay, the boys are coming out now. Here we go. Let's have a look. And guys, we, we are looking at Wasi at the moment because uh, we want to see what's happening there. Yeah, was he has just emerged from the pit, so he's going to be starting an outlap, getting the tires up to temperature. 
or he can uh, put in his challenge. The moment just to one fifty five eight, we know he's got that. That's simply a an outlap. It's got much more than that. Join Thomas currently in sixth place. Can't call it a commentator's curse if I didn't say anything. As we as we went on to his car, he he left the circuit, so still having a bit of a a tough time. I know what it's like. You used to racing one way. You've constantly got to remind yourself of that into each and every single corner. And making a mistake is just so easy. Was he now over the start finish line? He start his fast lap start lunch. DW currently with the 137. He has prevailed as the quickest lap so far. Nobody challenging just yet. was a Merc in the middle of the road and I'm pretty sure that was he trying to go out of the way. It didn't and uh, he drove into it. Damage. It's gonna have to come into the pits and uh, bring the get up on the board. Still just that 150 for now. Yeah, so uh, I'm back. Sorry about that. I just had to have a technical break. Um, it looks as though we've got another one from Wes. He's really getting into this. You know, he says he's got his money on the uh, Force India driver this evening. Was he now diving into the pits, had a bit of bad luck, went out on an outlap, started his fast lap, and uh, halfway down the fast lap, in the middle, in the second sector, there was a Merc spun out in the middle of the road. And uh, the way he drove into him, I'm pretty sure he thought going to ghost. Didn't. So, uh, he's in the pits without setting a lap time. So still that, just that 155.8 was, he hasn't uh, set a proper lap time as of yet. Just five minutes left on the clock. Just to get out there, put a decent lap time down. Currently in 10th. 